Time for lunch. We're on Job 30. But now they laugh at me, those younger than I, whose fathers I would have refused to put with my sheep, with my sheepdogs. Of what use to me is the strength of their hands since their manhood power has perished? They are dried up from lack and hunger. They flee to a parched land, formerly a waste and ruin. They pluck salt herbs by the bushes and broom tree roots for their food. They were driven out from among men. They shouted at them as at a thief to dwell in the gullies of wadis, holes of the ground and clefts. Among the bushes they cry out. Under the nettles they huddled together. Sons of fools, even sons without a name, they have been wiped out of the land. And now I have become their song. I am a byword to them. They have loathed me. They have kept far from me and did not refrain from spitting in my face. Because he has loosed my bowstring and afflicted me, they have thrown off restraint in my presence. At my right hand, a broad rises. They pushed away my feet, and they raise up against me their destructive ways. They have broken up my path. They gain by my ruin. No one restrains them. They come as through a wide breach, rushing on me under the ruins. Destructions are turned upon me. They pursue my life as the wind, and my welfare has passed like a cloud. And now my life pours itself out. Days of affliction seize me. My bones have been pierced in me at night, and my gnawing never lies down. By great exertion is my garment changed. It girds me as the collar of my coat, throwing me into the mud. I have become like dust and ashes. I cry out to you, but you do not answer me. I stand up, but you only look at me. You have become cruel to me. With the power of your hand, you oppose me. You lift me up to the wind, making me to ride it, and you melt me in a storm. For I have known that you bring me to death and to the house of appointment for all living. Yet does not one in a heap of ruin stretch out his hand or in calamity cry out for help? Did I not weep for him who was in trouble? Was my being not grieved for the poor? When I looked for good, the evil came to me. And when I waited for light, darkness came. My inward parts boiled and did not rest. Days of affliction went before me. I went about blackened. But not by the sun. I stood up in the assembly. I cried for help. I became a brother of jackals and a companion of ostriches. My skin became black upon me, and my bones burned with heat. So my lyre becomes mourning, and my flute the sound of weeping. I have made a covenant with my eyes. How then could I gaze at a maiden? For what is the portion of Eloah from above the inheritance of the Almighty from on high? It, it is not calam is it not calamity to the perverse and strangeness to the workers of wickedness? Does he not see my ways and number all my steps? If I have walked with falsehood, or if my foot has hurried to deceit, let him weigh me in a right scale, and let Eloah know my integrity. If my step does turn from the way, or my heart has gone after my eyes, or if any spot has clung to my hands, let me sow, and another eat, and let my harvest be rooted. If my heart has, broke, has been enticed by a woman, or if I have lurked at my neighbor's door, let my wife grind for another, and let others bow down over her, for that would be a wicked scheme and a punishable crookedness. For that would be a fire that burns to destruction and take root among all my increase. 
If I have refused the plea of my male servant or my female servant when they complained against me, then what should I do when El rises up? And when he punishes, what should I answer him? Did not he who made me in the womb make him? And did not one fashion us in the womb? If I have withheld the poor man from pleasure, or caused the widow's eyes to fail, or eaten my piece of bread by myself, and the fatherless did not eat of it, by whom my youth he grew up with me as with a father, and from my mother's womb I guided her. If I have seen anyone perish for lack of garments, or a poor without one without covering, if his loins have not blessed me, and he warmed himself with the fleece of my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the fatherless, then when I saw I had help in the gate, Let my arm fall from my shoulder, and my arm be broken from the bone. For I am in dread of destruction from, the El, from El, and from his excellence I could not escape. If I have put my trust in gold, or called fine gold my refuge, if I have rejoiced because my wealth was great, and because my hand had gained much, if I had looked at the sun when it shines, or the moon moving in brightness, so that my heart has been secretly enticed and my mouth has kissed my hand. That too much is a punishable crookedness, for I would have denied El above. If I have rejoiced when he who hated me was ruined, or lifted myself up when evil found him. Also, I have not allowed my mouth to sin by asking for a curse on his life. If the man of my tent did not say, who is there that has not been satisfied with meat? The stranger did not have to spend the night in the street, for I have opened my doors to the way. If I have covered my transgressions like Adam by hiding my crookedness in my bosom, then let me fear the great crowd and dread the scorn of clans when I would be silent and go out of the door. Who would give me a hearing? See my signature. Let the Almighty answer me, and let my accuser write a bill. Would I not take it up on my shoulder, bind it on me for a crown? I would declare to him the number of my steps. I would approach him like a prince. If my land cries out against me, or its furrows weep together, if I have eaten its fruit without payment, or caused its owners to die, let thistles grow instead of wheat, and useless weed instead of barley. The words of Iob are ended.